Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. And today I want to talk to you all about one of these. So one of the things that we often get asked following our trips through France is how we cope with the tolls. And traveling through France is fantastic if you stick to the auto routes. It's a really, really quick and efficient way of getting across what is a country that's much, much bigger than the UK. The auto routes are generally very well maintained. The traffic is often less. They do take you very efficiently between major cities and routes all across the country. However, the one big difference with the UK is a lot of the routes have a toll system. There's two ways you can deal with the tolls. One of them is to arrive at the toll itself and pay the fee. Now, if there's two of you in the van or two of you in the vehicle that's traveling, that's not a problem. But remember that the toll booth is on the left-hand side. So if you're on your own, the booth itself is not immediately conveniently accessible but you pay for your toll generally using a, a debit or a credit card um, or you can put cash generally into the, the booth itself as well. Some of the tolls are manned, some are not, um, but the toll system works similarly to how we see it in the UK. Now quite often in a two or two to three week trip across France, we will travel in a region of 15 to maybe 1800 miles traveling uh, around the different campsites and destinations that we're staying at. And for speed and efficiency, we'll do most of that driving where possible on the auto routes, which is not the cheapest way of doing it, but it's definitely the quickest way. You can save a significant amount of time by using one of these tags. So how does the tag work? Well, for a small fee, you purchase or rent one of these little devices. This device will mount using a clip into the windscreen, which I'll show you in just a second. But you pay a 10 euro fee to acquire the tag or for your registration initially. So there's various advantages to the tag. So number one, as I said, it significantly speeds up your progress through the toll booths. So they have dedicated lanes, um, which mean that you can just drive up, drive straight through, and the machine beeps as you approach. And I'll show you in a video here of one of our approaches to the, the booth itself, um, and then you drive through and carry on with your journey. Now, often at some of the busier auto route toll junctions, you'll find that there are significant queues so being able to just drive up and go straight through with one of these very quickly makes a huge difference to your time. So on many occasions, we've actually saved in the region of probably 20 minutes by not having to queue, thanks to having one of these tags. It also means you're not having to faff around, um, lean out of the window, find change, find a credit card. Um, if your passenger's been asleep, you don't have to wake them up and it, it just the convenience is, is, is massively enhanced. They have fast lanes as well, so um, some of them you don't even have to stop for, you just, I think it's a 30 kilometer or 30, 40 kilometer speed sign. Um, those are ones where you don't even have to stop to traverse through. So you just drive up and just go straight through and then it'll, even just by slowing down, it'll beep as you um, approach and then your account is automatically um, registered for that trip. So there is a cost involved. We've found that over the last few years traveling in France, that there's been many, many times when we've been really glad for having the tag and it, the time and ease that it has provided for the trip. It also gives you a record on your invoice of where you've been when you were there. Um, which I'm sure if there were ever any disputes about parking or speed fines or anything else, it's a good record for that. Um, and also when you're 
writing up or keeping a record or a journal of where you've been, you, you know exactly where you were at certain times on your journey. The only downside is the cost. Um, not the cost of the tag, but the cost of traveling on some of the French auto routes. We've done trips before where we've come back after and we get the invoice at the end of the following month for the journeys that we've done on the auto route and it comes through and it might be 150 pounds or 150 euros additional cost on our trip which is not an insignificant amount however i think for if you're looking to travel quickly from one part of france to the next the auto routes are definitely definitely the way to go i'm sure that there will be people saying that if you you stick to the auto routes you don't get to see real france you don't get to see this you're not experiencing the same thing however what you are doing is getting from one part of france to your next part of france quickly efficiently safely and reliably as well um, even when they have roadworks on the auto routes they're really well managed and really well um, coordinated so it's definitely definitely a big thumbs up from us for using the tag system. Now the tag that we've opted to use is provided, um, the tag is actually called Liberty, which is a, a European tag subscribed to us through Imovis tag in the UK. This video is not sponsored by them. It's a genuine review based on our usage of this system and really give it a big thumbs up for traveling on those longer journeys through France. Now the tag itself is mounted, designed to be mounted just at the top of the windscreen. They do suggest that it's mounted in the shady part um, by the rear view mirror. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it needs to be up at the top of the windscreen to get a clear receipt of the signal as you're uh, driving through the toll. Um, it's pretty small and you know, when you come to change it, it slides off easily and just clips back in. The bracket is provided by them as well. Now, we've had our tag for seven or eight years now and the one thing that you do have to do over a period of time is log into their website and just keep an eye on the battery power of the tag. See, there's a little battery in there which sends the signal to and fro between the booth itself and over time that battery will uh, reduce. It doesn't give you a warning as such, it doesn't beep or alert um, to tell you that it's running low so it's reliant on you checking the website to check the battery status. Now we did this um, uh, a couple of weeks ago and saw that the battery level on it was low so I've ordered a new tag, the one that uh, just showed you in the packaging. So we're going to replace previous tag with a new one and then we'll be good to go hopefully for another few years with that one. Well the other good thing about the Amovis system is that when I send the old tag back um, the deposit that was paid for that one is refunded so it's just a you know, returning and I guess they recharge the battery and issue for or recycle the unit to be used by somebody else. So all in all very easy system and as I said from a convenience point of view to managing the tolls and the your trips on the auto routes in France it's a really really good system. So what does it cost? There's a 10 euro application fee and then an 8 euro account management fee per year which is about five pounds. Uh, 20 euro refundable deposit for the unit itself and then a five euro charge for the months that you use the unit itself. You then automatically get billed through direct debit for the journeys that you have done and then pay that uh, fee the following month after you've returned. The costs that you pay for the routes are exactly the same as if you were paying them normally. Modest costs, but I feel that they really, really do add a lot to the convenience and ease of travel. Now for the invoices and charges, as you may have noticed, that uh, typically they're quoted in euros. 
Now for a Movis, the company that we use, they do say in their documentation that they use an average of the exchange rate uh, for, for key exchange partners to calculate the exchange costs at that time. So if you've got any questions or queries, just drop me a note in the comments below. I'd be very happy to answer them if I can. But thanks very much indeed for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and remember to hit the button to subscribe to follow us here on Campervan Journey. There'll be more videos coming very, very soon. Thanks again for watching.